Hi team, Johnny Bank from 21 Horses here. Uh, this evening we're just doing a quick gear review of some gear we used on the trip. Um, doing 30,000 Ks across the world. We've had these units on our helmets as Santa, uh, 20S. There might be um, newer models out by now. If you drop it all down there, if you're going to buy the box, it'll look like this. When you open it up, you're going to have your unit, your speakers, and your microphone. Now you get the box. Jeez, Richie. Get the box and set it up on your helmet. You're probably going to have a better helmet than I do. I hope you do anyway, or you're a poor man. You'll have a set your unit up on the outside. Now you usually stick it on of because it's not the flashiest helmet anyway, I've butchered mine a little bit and jeweled it in and made it work. And the boom on the inside with the speakers. Now it took us from three of us getting the units, setting them up, being able to talk to each other in the helmets, probably took us about two beers to set up. Um, One thing we found using the units with the microphones at the front was wind noise. Now, the units are fantastic in that if we're talking to each other, so I guess I'll take it, I'll take it back a step there. We bought the units on the trip to be able to talk to each other and functionally they were great. Um, we were able, well, we did a bit of research and we were sold on being able to use the units in about a two kilometer radius. We found we were only getting about maybe 800 meters out of them. We tried a lot of different things and we had a lot of time to try a lot of different things, but we never really got more than about a kilometer in perfect conditions. And then that's like a fantastic day. Someone being on top of a hill, shooting back to the other person and so on. But it's the units invaluable, I guess the voice, um, being able to talk to and hear each other. It's really handy if you, if you're traveling in a group and you're going through a city in you know southeast asia or whatever and everything's just going crazy you don't have to keep in touch with your riding team you can you like visually you can just hear them talk to them say oh you know i've turned left up here i'm going down this street you know you can be a couple of blocks away and still be in communication and not be wasting your time trying to keep someone in a visual aspect um and, and that's time that could be like, you know, trying to dodge the bus or the kid or the kid on the scooter or whatever, you know, that's trying to kill you straight in front of you. So it, invaluable unit. Um, problems we found with it was a bit of wind noise through the microphone. Um, the unit automatically adjusts the volume down once you start talking, which is great. So if it's too sensitive and you're getting a bit of wind noise or if you have a lower quality helmet, You'll get some wind noise through the microphone and it'll think you're talking, turn the volume down and transmit wind noise to everybody else. Um, so it's something you can fix with sensitivity adjustments, which it has, and we got on top of it after a while. Something you can do with to combat that, or the only thing I found to combat that was grow a nice beard that sits in the bottom of your helmet there and stops the wind noise. So, uh, battery life was pretty good. Um, we we'd be getting about four hours out of one of the units fully charged uh battery life didn't affect us too much because we'd be riding a bike we'd have a 12 volt on the handlebars and just a cord long enough to plug into the back uh, a problem we had with that or a problem that i had with that if you're riding in the rain and you leave your cord plugged in and your battery charging which is where your little USB charges at the back. Now, if you leave that plugged in in the rain, it'll fry the unit, which I managed to do in, I think we were in Indonesia, so it was pretty early on in the trip. Um, and that's the next point that Senna kind of markets themselves. This was maybe a bit of a gripe I had with Senna, but you know, maybe I fried my own unit, so who knows. Um, I had a bit of a gripe with Senna because they market themselves a bit to the adventure community and I find it, I found it very difficult to get a replacement unit. Uh, we had to 
to, for me to get a replacement unit from something that I bought in Australia, I had to, I was in Indonesia at the time and I had to send it back to Australia and arrange someone to send it back to the center factory for them to assess it and then repair it and then send it back to Australia. And then that person in Australia to send it forwarded on to me in the next country I was going to be in and arrange a PO drop. So that was an issue and, you know, f fair enough, but I'd feel like a brand that markets themselves to the adventure community and has centre outlets in all the countries that we went to could maybe be a bit more friendly and we went and hit them up and uh, we couldn't get a, a unit from a dealer. So that was a difficulty maybe. Um, but overall, it was a good unit, perhaps not um super ideal for the trip because we were buying it primarily to talk to each other um and the range was probably a little bit lacking we maybe should have gone radios um since coming home the unit's been fantastic and i think it's a good kind of domestic unit to use um for phone calls and just stuff locally but uh, on the trip, not so good. Around, I should say. I just... <laughs> no, you're killing it. You got to finish it better than on the trip. Not so good. I ran out of shit to say. Oh yeah, I can finish it better. Uh, thanks for watching the gear review. I uh, hope you found it insightful or helpful. Uh, keep watching twenty one horses dot com. We'll release some more gear reviews in the future and go through some of our camp gear and everything else. So, cheers. So you want it? Yeah. Stick around and watch more reviews on 21horses.com.